is up everybody welcome back to mount mograph my name's matt as always and in today's summit we actually do not have one we have a good giveaway number three the magic string script so if you want to go and click in the video description or just uh, go on over to mountmograph.com over in the freebie section of the website you can find the magic string script which is an effect we'll be playing around with real quick today and there's about a million and a half things you can do with it so if you go ahead and click download magic string script we're gonna get a little download over here I'm gonna go to my desktop and just double click this open hopefully you know where to install this if not it's in your After Effects folder, your scripts, and then your script UI folder. You're just going to drop it on in there. So I already got it installed. So if I jump on into After Effects, oh, whoa, I am jumping the gun here. Uh, check out this little video and I'll show you how helpful it is. promo I totally forgot to show and yeah I uh, I just made it and then I was like wow I'm just gonna try to come up with as many ideas as fast as I can and see what I get so I'm gonna go ahead and make my new composition here 1920 by 1080 and then if you want to bring up this little uh, magic string script you just go to your window and just select the Mount Mo string JSX bin and it'll pop up in this little dock that uh, you can just put wherever. I'm going to drop mine over here and uh, my layout is not really set for it. Once again, didn't plan this too hot. And uh, anyway, once we have that open, I'm just going to go over the buttons real quick. They're real straightforward. You can click here for some uh, real nice little information and you got links to the website and summits if you feel like it. Um, but anyway, that is not really important. You probably never have to click that if you don't want to. So anyway, the first button we have here is just a null. Um, it creates a null that's going to be helpful for targeting you can also pick objects that you've created but I like having an anchor point right in the middle of a null and it's also already a guide layer and shide so we can just hide that real easy and we don't have to go and mess with buttons because no one likes doing that so anyway that is kind of fun you can click this a million times and just keep making nulls if that is what you want to do with your day and if not and you want to do something else you can go ahead and this little guy here is a generate a sticky string so when you click it we're not gonna see anything but we'll see we get a new layer and this layer is gonna have some effects on here and also some properties with expressions so what this is is it's an effect I've seen around before and I just thought I would make a nice little and clean UI to set up this effect and save you um, just time you know no one wants to waste time doing the same thing and this can be used for a million things so if you look real close here we got a little dot and uh, well that's it there you go that is the magic string script I am just kidding and that was the worst joke I've ever made uh, anyway so if we go ahead and just create a null for example we'll create two so we'll have these nulls and what we can do is just go over into our um, string effects here and just go and on these two uh, options here we have the string start and the string end so I'm gonna pick the target one uh, the null 11 and then for the other one I'll pick target 10 so we're still not seeing anything but that's because our nulls are in the middle so as you can see as soon as I drag them out uh, we have a string that is just attached between them so and it's always gonna change so it's on the anchor point so if I choose to move the anchor point of my object it's still going to be attached so you can already see how that could be useful for some stuff and uh, you can use it for a million things now the cool thing about this is it also will work in 3d space so if you feel like one of these you want to send to the back of uh, somewhere crazy over there and I don't know you just want to do something nuts you have that capability so I'm gonna go ahead and delete these and just go through a couple quick little guys that are kind of fun and that I just I don't know I don't know if they're gonna be helpful but they're really fun to play around with so first I'm going to create a null and maybe I'll create let's create four nulls here 
or targets, whatever you want to call them. And then I'm just going to create the sticky string. So it's just going to pop up and it always is going to go to the bottom just so we can easily select our nulls. So I'm just going to drag these guys out real quick and see what I want to do. So first on this string, I'm going to set my end to, let's say, to target two. So we're going to have that target two pop over here. So you can either now go and click another string effect like that if you'd like to generate a new one. Or you can also just select the layer and do command D and then it'll be easier to switch between these so then I can change this uh, one to three and we'll see that the line has now connected and you can just go along like that very easily and just uh, change this as you need to and it's very easy to draw essentially what would be a box or what really whatever shape you want and you can attach as many things as you want together so uh, there we go we now have a box and when I move these points um, we get some cool effects. So this isn't like a, a well I guess in a way it's kind of like a path uh, for a shape but you have so much more capabilities with this where you can control all the points. So uh, what we can do additionally with that is create you know another null or something and we can generate a new string and we can add this string. Uh, you Yeah you just really just play around as much as you want and you can just start uh, attaching all kinds of stuff together. You can make a million points connect. You can do whatever the heck you want um, and that is the gist of it. So uh, like that little promo video there's a million things you can do with this effect and I'm going to kind of leave it up to you to figure out what you want to do exactly. So just just to give you a quick little head start on it all, if you go and just uh, create a new uh, target here, so I'll just easily uh, drag these out. Uh, the fun thing is you can make almost a lightsaber effect if you just turn up your thickness here. Oh, I guess I should talk about this stuff. So you have your length. Um, this is also just the beam effect. I just renamed it so it would work with the expression. So you actually have that already. It's just in your effects and presets. Uh, but I've just added some expressions to make it easier. So you can scale down this effect if you'd like. And also the time, you can go from one point to the other. So that's how you can do some fun effects. You can also change the colors. You can also change what's called the softness and the size so if you want one really big side you can do something like that so I'm gonna set both of these to 20 and I'm gonna set my softness to 100 and then I'm gonna go and change my color here and this is how you can kind of get a nice uh, lightsaber look with uh, pretty much no effort whatsoever I'm not sure if this is the best look right now but as you can see you can start to get some really cool things so I guess I'll show you uh, just one other thing to get your roll in here and if I just duplicate this effect and pick a different color we'll go with a nice blue and uh, maybe something crazy like a bright pink. So this is just a terrible lightsaber. I would feel horrible if that was my lightsaber. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just select a new target. So that is looking cool. And then we will just do uh, one more of this crazy lightsaber and change the color one more time. So this is definitely a fact that the more you play around with it, the, I'm sure you can come up with tons more creative things than um, what I have so far, that's for sure. But I'm trying here. Uh, let's see we got uh, target eight so we want to go on this third one we want to go on over to uh, the newest target which I believe is this one I'm messing it up oh no uh, here we go uh, still not right we need target four uh, so there we go we have well that's not attached to anything well I'm totally screwing this up right now but let's see all right, we'll just call this good. So as you can see, we have this crazy rope or whatever you want to call it, lightsaber uh, Z thing. So what you can do with this is also change your, uh, on your string settings here, you can actually just change your mode to something that is interesting, maybe like a lighten. And then that's how you can kind of get this like fake 3D thing if you don't actually want to use 3D. When the colors blend together, it almost looks like it's going behind. And uh, that's what I used for the little promo part. So you can do that or you can parent all of these uh, guys together. Uh, and just like this grab your targets and just parent them to this layer maybe make them all 3d and then you can just start spinning uh, this object all around so like I said you got a million things you can do with this and you can have just a ton of fun uh, coming up with all kinds of stuff and I don't know who knows what this could be used for um it's definitely very helpful when you want to like track an object so if you use a tracking point for some footage and you want to keep some data just attached to it with like a little call out or string or something easy you got this thing so anyway i hope you guys have fun with this if you uh 
did get the motion script, uh, there are going to be a ton of cool stuff uh, coming out soon, or a ton of cool stuff, a ton of cool things coming out soon, um, hopefully in the next week or two. And this one is just like a fun little effect I thought I'd share with everyone for free. So I hope you guys have fun, and thanks again for checking out Mount MoGraph, you guys all rock. Peace out.